Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Well, it seems like it's happening again. We might have some leaks about a new printer from Bamboo Labs. Recently, there has been some posts in Reddit that might indicate what could be the X2D or the X2C. Let's take a closer look. According to Reddit user The Collector, they were poking around in the Bamboo Handy app and they came across these images. So this is the main image of a new tool head that could possibly be the X2D. So we see a tool head that is similar to what we see in the H2D series, although it looks to be quite a bit smaller. Now, the graphics, that green rectangle there, indicate that this might be part of a troubleshooting operation. I'm guessing that's probably a filament cutter, but these are definitely nozzles. They look like the same A slash H series nozzles that we find in the current printers. But these do not indicate the new Vortec nozzle changing system. So although these pictures don't necessarily indicate an X2C, that could be an option. But we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, in the future. Now, here is a, another view of what would be the same tool head. And again, we see a tool head camera, also similar to what we have in the H series. And I think one of the big arguments here, at least on this thread, is whether or not these images are real. Like I said, I can't verify that these images are available in uh, the Bamboo Handy app. I'm not a coder. I don't have the ability to go in there and dig. I did pull up the app on my phone and plug it into my computer and dig down into the Android file system to see if I could find any photos. But honestly, all I could find is the front cover images that show the different printers that I have installed. But anyway, one thing to note here is this area down here, the silicone sock. If we look at this image, we can see what looks to be some orange or some printed text here. But when we go back to this image, that is not visible. And I know on my silicone socks on the H2D, we do have like a bamboo uh, logo up here on the front and then of course the nozzles would have the nozzle size so these could be renders who knows exactly what they are but it is definitely if they are real a different tool head now we also have this image here which all again looks like it would indicate some problem you know some troubleshooting steps and my point in this video is not to determine whether or not these images are real per se uh, there are some Odd things that I do notice, however, like right here, this PTFE tube is just going into this big hole as opposed to having a PTFE connector like we normally have at the top of the tool heads where you can remove this. This does seem to be a very weird design. I'd also, I'd hate to think that we're going to get another printer that's got this ribbon cable to connect the fan. But anyway, Let's move along. There are a couple more images in this thread with some information about looks like a build plate or build plate detection. And then interestingly enough, we also have this item here, which looks to be a filament cutter feed system. Definitely different. This is not the way that the, the H2 series is laid out. So that is definitely a different printer. The filament inlet ports on the H2 series are up here. And then there is this separate area over here for TPU. But again, could be some new accessories coming down the pike. I'm not sure. So that's all pretty interesting. But what I'd really like to discuss with you is whether or not you think the X2 2 series has a place in the current bamboo lineup. Now, before we get too much further, I'd like to thank my sponsor for this video, PCBWay. Now is a great time to check out PCBWay.com while they are offering their big Christmas sales. From November 28th through December 31st, you can definitely save. As a matter of fact, if you're a new member, you can get a $5 coupon. Just sign up. PCB Way has an instant quote system where you can get your project quoted fast. They offer PCB prototyping, assembly, rigid or flexible PCBs, CNC manufacturing, and 3D printing. Definitely check them out today. 
PCB prototype the easy way. All right, now back at it. So does the X2D or X2C actually have a place anymore in the current Bamboo lineup? We've got kind of the entry-level A series. We've got the more budget-friendly P series. We now have the H series that goes everywhere from the H2S for a single nozzle printer. We've got the H2D. We've got the H2C. Uh, they've even revamped the P2S. So where exactly would the X2C or X2D fit in? Let's take a look at the cost comparison. Here we have the current Bamboo Lab printer lineup. So starting with the A1 Mini at $219, obviously this is a sale price now. Then you've got the A1, which is a little more expensive. The P1S still available in that $400 range. And then we step up, we've got the P2S in the middle $500 range. And then we kind of jump up here into the H2S. So we've got a $1,200 printer, the H2D at 1749 and then the H2C at over $2,300, almost $2,400. So really the only price bracket that seems to be missing here is that kind of six to $1,000 range. So is that where the X series would land? That's about the only place that I can see it falling any longer. Now you may be thinking, well, they'll probably just get rid of the X line, but I'm pretty certain that we're not going to see that either. Recently at Formnext, Fohammer did a quick little interview with one of the reps from Bamboo, and here's what they had to say. A few ranges, you've got a H range, a P range, an A range, you've got an X range. Now you've refreshed a lot of those, but there's one remaining. So will will yeah, we one. will that's we one. be seeing will do you think we'll see a refresh of that range at any point in the future? Can I bully you into info about that one? Yeah, you see, there are all the second generation of bamboo. They are already released. There's only one left. Okay. So like people know what's going on. Right? <laughs> yeah, but can you tell me when? No. <laughs> we'll be soon enough. So what do you think? Is the X2C or X2D something that you're looking forward to? Does it make sense to add yet another printer that is just a little bit better, you know, doesn't really solve many problems? Is it way too late? Does Bamboo need to ditch this dual nozzle design or the Vortex system and make an actual tool changer? Let me know down in the comments. As always, I'd appreciate it if you take a moment to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and hit the notification bell so you know when I drop new content. I appreciate the time that we get to spend together here on the channel. Let's keep on learning, burning, printing, and growing together. Take care, everyone.